Four years now since London, and you know, for me, it's it's gone ever so quick. But you know, I've always, throughout the years, been looking to improve. You know, out the pool, in the pool. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's all come together really. I always knew it would take a, a personal best to at least qualify for the Olympics, and you know, now if I can just do a little bit more in training and squeeze a little bit more out, then I mean, I, it's going to put me right up there. You know, it, it always comes down to been in that final really and you know time goes out the window so for me you know if I can get, in, get myself in that final and really you know do what I need to do and put some work towards, towards getting my another personal best you know that should put me right up there with where I want to be. Going to my first Olympics was a great experience huge experience but you know reflecting back on it you know I, I did want to swim slightly better than I did in the final and you know now you know I've been practicing racing and you know I want to go there and swim you know how I've been swimming recently and you know, obviously a medal would be, would be lovely. I'm looking forward to the European Athletics Championships. I think it's good race preparation, especially for my event in Breaststroke. Europe's always been very strong. So for me to get back in the water and you know, get back training and then you know, do a bit of race prep, you know, it's going to be great. Fond memories of the Aquatic Centre. Um, you know, obviously it's, the, the stands aren't quite as big, but for me, just the memories, you know, I'm never going to forget that.